You are welcome to solve this nice month Olympiad problem, which is the square root of 12 divided by square root of 15 plus square root of 3. So how do we solve this problem? Now, solution from here, we can express square root of 12 as square root of 4 multiplied by 3 divided by square root of 15 can be expressed as 5 square root of 5 times 3 then plus square root of 3 everything here raised to power 12. Now you find that the square root of 4 times 3 this is in the form of square root of a times b which we can express as square root of a times square root of b. Now essentially here we'll have square root of 4 times square root of 3 divided by now, square root of 5 times 3 is the same thing as square root of 5 times square root of 3 plus square root of 3. So everything here raised to power 12. The next step here, in the numerator, we have square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 divided by... Now, in the denominator here, square root of 3 is common. We factor out square root of 3 so that we'll have into the bracket square root of 5 plus 1. So everything here raised to power raised to power 12. So square root of 3 and square root of 3 simplifies. So that now square root of 4 is the same thing as 2 divided by square root of 5 plus 1. This is raised to power 12. Now the next step from here, we need to rationalize. Let's rationalize the denominator here by introducing a conjugate. So we'll have square root of 5 plus 1. We introduce a conjugate to the denominator and also the numerator. That's square root of 5 subtract 1. And in the numerator, we'll have square root of 5 subtract 1. Everything here is to power 12. Now, this implies that the square root of 5 plus 1, this is in the form of a plus b. Here, this is a minus b, which we can transform as a squared minus b squared. So applying this property, then we'll have in the numerator 2 multiplied by square root of 5 subtract 1 divided by square root of 5 squared subtract 1 squared. Everything here raised to power 12. Now, the next step from here, this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by square root of 5 subtract 1 divided by, now this is 5, square root of 5 squared, this is the same thing as 5 subtract 1, which is equal to 4. So we have 4 here, everything here raised to power 12. So we simplify here, so that now, here we have in the numerator square root of 5 subtract 1 divided by 2 everything here this to power 12 so the, the next step from here we just say let x be equal to square root of 5 subtract 1 divided by 2 so x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and this implies that we need to calculate what is x to power 12. So let's solve this. So x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. So the question is what is x to power 12? Now, from what we have here, which is x is equal to square root of 5, subtract 1 over 2. Let's multiply both signs by 2. So that here, we'll have 2x, this is equal to square root of 5, subtract 1. So let's take negative 1 on the left hand side. So here we have 2x plus 1, this is equal to square root of 5. The next step here is to square both signs. Let's square both signs. So that now, here we have, this is actually in the form of a plus b squared which you can express as a squared 
plus b squared plus 2 times a times b. So here we have 2x squared. This is actually 4x squared. Then plus, we have 4x, then plus 1. This is equal to square root of 5 squared. This is the same thing as 5. So let's take 4x plus 1 on the right hand side. So that here we have 4x squared. This is equal to 5, subtract 4x, subtract 1. So essentially here, we have 4x squared. This is equal to 5 minus 1. This is 4 minus 4x. So again here, we have 4x squared. This is equal to, we can factor out 4 here, since 4 and 4 is common. So that we'll have 1 minus x. The next step here is to divide both signs by 4. So that now the value of x here, that is x squared, is equal to 1 minus x. Let's call this equation 2. So this is actually equation 1. Now the next step from here, the next step from here, we will have x squared, we continue to expand this, x squared to power 2, this is equal to 1 minus x squared. So here we'll have x to power 4, this is equal to 1 squared minus 2x, then plus x squared. But x squared, this is what is in equation 2 here. So let's substitute this. We'll have x to power 4. This is equal to 1 squared is 1. Subtract 2x plus x squared, which is basically 1 minus x. So here we'll have 1 minus 2x, then plus 1, subtract x. So here we'll have x to power 4 is equal to, now 1 plus 1, this is 2, subtract minus 2 minus x, this is minus 3x. So this is what is x to power 4. x to power 4. So we have to expand this up to x to power 12. So we can simply have x to power 4, this to power 3, this is equal to 2 minus 3x, this to power 3. So let's proceed from here. So now we have that x to power 4 raised to power 3. This is the same thing as x to power 12. This is equal to, now, 2 minus 3x to power 3. This is in the form of a minus b to power 3, which we can express as a to power 3. Subtract b to power 3. Subtract 3 times a times b into the parentheses a minus b. So let's apply this property so that x to the power 12 a, this is equal to 2 to the power 3, subtract 3x three to the power 3, subtract 3, okay, times, that is 2 times 3x, then into the parentheses we'll have 2 subtract 3x. So that now here, 2 to the power 3, this is 8, subtract 3, this is now this, this is actually 3x to the power 3, this is in the form of ab raised to the power 3, which we can express as a to the power 3, b to the power 3. So here we'll have 8, subtract 3 to the power 3, this is 27, then x to the power 3, subtract here, now here we have 3 times 2, which is 6, 6 times 3, which is 18x. Then multiplying by 2 minus 3x. Let's proceed here. So here we have x to the power 12. This is equal to 8 minus 27x to the power 3. Subtract 18x times 2. This is minus 36x. Then minus 18x times minus 3x, this is plus 
This is 18 times 3. And in this case, we'll have 54x squared. But now, but x squared, this is the same thing as equation 2, which is 1 minus x. So x squared is the same thing as 1 minus x. So we'll have x to the power 12. This is the same thing as 8 subtract 27 x to the power 3 subtract 3 that is 36 x then plus 54 x squared which is 1 minus x so here we'll have 8 minus 27 x to the power 3 subtract 36 x then plus 54 times 1 this is 54 minus 54 x so here we have 8 subtract 27 now we can write this as this is the same thing as x squared times x then subtract 36 x okay plus 54 subtract 54 x so let's correct the right terms together here so here we have 8 plus 54, which is equal to 62. Subtract, now we have 36 here and 54. We have 36 and 54. And this is actually equal to 90. Subtract 90x. Then subtract 27x squared. But x squared here is 1 minus x. So we have 1 minus x multiplying by x then now from here from here this is the same thing as 62 subtract 90x subtract now here we'll have 27 this is the same thing as 27 okay now here we have minus 27x times x so here we have 62, subtract 90x, subtract 27x, plus 27x squared. So now from here, again, let's correct the right terms together. So we'll have x to power 12. This is equal to 62. Subtract, we have 90 plus 27 this is actually 1 17x then plus 27x squared but x squared is the same thing as 1 minus x so here we have 62 subtract 1 17x plus 27 multiplied by 1 minus x so again here, we have 62, subtract 117x, plus 27, subtract 27x. Okay, so here we'll have 62. So we have x to power 12 is equal to 62, minus 117x, plus 27, minus 27x. So let's put right terms together here. We have 62, plus 27, this is actually equal to 89. And then subtract 144x. Subtract 144x. But if you recall here, but if you recall, we end that x. We are saying that let x be equal to square root of 5, subtract 1, divided by 2. So let's substitute this x to the power 12 this is equal to 89 subtract 144 multiplied by square root of 5 subtract 1 divided by 2 so here we'll have 89 subtract this is the same thing as 144 multiplied by square root of 5 plus 144 all this divided by 2. So in this case here, 81 is 
a whole number is over one. So the LCM here is two. So here we have, now the LCM here is two. So two to prevent by one is two times 89. This is 178. Subtract 144 square root of five plus 144. So here, this implies that x to power 12, this is equal to, we correct the right terms here, 178 plus 144, this is 322, subtract 144, then square root of 5, divided by 2. So, if you divide here by 2, that is 322 divided by 2, this is actually equal to 161 subtract 144 divided by 2 this is 72 so subtract 72 square root of 5 and this is the solution to this problem this is the solution to this problem so that implies that square root of 12 divided by square root of 15 plus square root of 3 raised to power 12, the solution here is 161, subtract 72, square root of 5. So this is the solution. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and more importantly, subscribe. Please subscribe, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.